Okay, so we're back then. I've killed all those uh, spiders and wolves off camera. Um, again, the best places to farm them if you need to find them quick is the two camps we, we were at previously. So uh, the wolf den down here on the southeastern part of the Dow Stocks, the Pack Howlers, Pack Howlers Hill. Uh, for the spiders, the Dreadweaver's Lair down on the southwest side there. Those are the best two places to find those two guys, and it shouldn't take you too long. Uh, so the last thing we need to do is come to where I am on the map now, just kind of like east of the, the crossroad bit there. Uh, well, we have to read the first gravestone. So there's a little graveyard in here. So if we just come across, uh, it's not the shiny one. Okay, it's this one. So we inspect this. Here lieth Frifka, age 31, who perished from natural causes on July 2nd, 3rd age, 2461. Read the second grave, and the lighting's gone all funny. I've somehow lost my AOE aura. Was it all F10? I don't know what's happened, but whatever. Second gravestone. Here lieth Hatchorf, age 19, who perished from illness on June 30th, 3rd age, 2461. Same year. Third gravestone. Here lieth Berebud, age 41, who took his own life, July 4th, 3rd age, 2461. Again, same year. And fourth gravestone, which is barely poking out of, out of the earth. Here lieth Vaticus, age 27, who fell to his death on July 1st, 3rd age, 2461. Everyone died the same year. Fifth grave, the shiny one. As you near this gravestone, you see this, it is completely blank. And we have to go back and speak to people at the Haunted Inn and tell them that, hmm, this looks a bit shifty. Everyone spontaneously died around about the same time. With, uh, in some cases, natural causes in suspicious quotation marks as the reason given. Okay, so if we just head back up the road then to the inn. And I think we've got about seven quests that we'll hand in, so that might even push us over the level boundary. We'll see. Since I've already used all the blue bar already today from uh, before my session. So inside we go. And just spam all these hand ins. We're going to get a few more as well. How can I be of service? Like Would you like, do hmm, something that's suspicious? Me. Use the wolf whistle to summon the wolf keeper and defeat him. Because someone is leading all the nasty wolves. Greetings. Uh, Stay find on my a way. shade in Aldergaim who will speak with you. Might I take a moment so of find your shades time? in Aldergaim and then search them for clues. Megavanen. Stay a moment. Summon and defeat the Morval Guard. So that's right at the back of Danagor, so that's going to be a bit of a pain to get up there. Uh, these two guys. How can I be of service? What do you need? Mind my words, traveler. So collect relics of interest from Merival. So we've collected tokens of bondage. Now we're collecting relics of interest. We could have done that at the same time. Why do you have to make us go up there twice? It's a bit of a pain. Uh, what can I do for you? My and these last two. Enormous. Summon and defeat the Dower Stocks Lair Spinner. So it's Boss Spider Mark II. What do you need? Mind my and word. defeat Miraval at Dannenglor. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Right, so if we go back outside then. We might as well mount up and go do the Dunninglaw stuff first then. Actually we can confront the shades as well. So if we head across the the uh, bridge here to the east side, this is where most of the village of Aldergaim is. Um, so I think, do we have to speak to him? I suppose what we need to speak to him. So we can just start killing random ones. And that should be the first. Fell looking coins. 
these guys are haunting these village. So the question is, and what will we find out? You know, did these people used to live here? I hate it when they bloody do that. Stop hiding. Come out. Face me. Bang. There we go. I'll teach you. Yeah, a lot of these guys are just standing outside the front of uh, various houses. Just let me make our way deeper. I'm probably going to end up reversing into everything. It's kind of like half on purpose. Or more like I fully don't care. Okay, but since we need 10 of these guys, you know, we might as well put our backs into it. Try and clear them a bit quicker. Well, he's hiding, so I'll just switch to this guy. 3k, not too bad. Hello. Oh. Okay, this might get a bit, bit aggressive now. Pop the uh, EMP blast. We're going to need some AOE stun, I think. Oh god, I don't have a poor fifth one. Let's just take the piss that is. Alright, pop that sustaining bolt. There we go, killed another one. Come out of the bank, it's literally just making himself invisible. Rather than actually attacking me, so that's fine. Uh, there's the villager I need to speak to. Let's go see what he has to say for himself then. Who are you and why do you disturb our peaceful town? You call this peaceful? Bloody hell. Why do you pry? We have nothing to hide. Our forest is fair, and its resources plentiful. Our folk want for naught, leave us be. We are but simple woodsmen, and have been for so many centuries. Many of our folk are set in their ways, but a little change has never hurt anyone. There is always room for a people to grow, and what better time could there be for us to grow and change for the better? The graveyard, you ask, what of it? Every mortal creature must die, and so we must bury them, as is our tradition. There is nothing unusual about Algerheim. <laughs> move along. <laughs> it literally says move along in the next sentence. I was just fucking doing a Star Wars quote. Oh, dear Jesus Christ. Now move along, or you shall be sorry. Um, that's not very nice. But he obviously like, thinks it's the good old days when they're still being woodsmen. But look, look around, mate. You're dead. You're holding a sword, not an axe. That's the first sign you're not a woodsman anymore. Um, so, return with the evidence. Uh, confront Shades, we still need three more guys, so let's just kill three more on the way out. And we're going to head up northwards as well. So if we start heading back the way we came. And kill you, we're we'll probably going to end up fighting a few on the hill on the way out of town as well. So we might actually end up killing a few too many. range. Bang! There we go. That never gets old. Lightning effects just feel so satisfying. Uh, we've got two guys on the hill. I only need one of them though, but I'm going to have to kill both. Oh, I might be able to sneak around the other one. Yeah, I probably can. Come on, you're in line of sight. Accidental discharge that. Okay, so that one's ready to hand in. So we've still got five quests. So what have we got? We don't need the spider. Let's try and sneak around him. Uh, we need to use the wolf whistle, which is far down by the, the the wolf hill again. So I need to wait for him. The spider one is down in the spider place. So we need to summon and defeat the Morval Guard. We need to collect relics of interest, which is probably just from killing random guys. We'll soon find out one way or another. Um, I can sneak through these guys. Just to try and fight as few mobs as possible. So yeah, these guys... Oh, got another loot box. Nice. These guys will drop the... Uh, they won't drop the thing. Count towards the defeat Maribel. 
of an of interest might only drop from the these ones, the ones that aren't slaves, maybe. Let's find out. In which case, we might deliberately have to target these guys and avoid as many slaves as possible to try and uh, optimize ourselves. Yep, that one did drop a relic. Um, let's open, since I've got a key, let's find out. What do we got in the loot box? 20 Lothlorian silver branches and 5 scrolls of universal crafting law. So that's not really an amazing one. Uh, I might as well fight you. Uh, you're a slave, I don't care. Pretty aggressive kind thing, since I don't really know what I'm reversing into. I can just see red dots on the map. I'm hoping it'll be something of interest. around this corner. We've got a shrieker we want. I'll pull you. Um, might be able to sneak up the side. No, can I not climb this bit? Oh, that's irritating. I'm going to end up putting her. Uh, there's a shrieker over there. Yeah, sod it. Why not? Come over here. And EMP blast. Ooh, I've worried I might have pulled the bat as well there. But it seems the bat is, is quite chilling. He was outside the EMP blast. He's also not a computer, which probably helps. Right, I'm probably going to end up reversing into something up here. Sadly, not the greatest of crits in the world. Right. Okay, so there's two slaves at the door. I need to come past here, just because I need the summoning horn, which is over here. There's a couple of mobs patrolling around, so I might just want to be slightly aware of that. Uh, there's one coming straight for us. Now, we don't really want to be fighting the slaves, but I think this one's probably going to aggro road anyway. I will at least count towards our kill 10 bats. There we go. 3.9k. Very nice. Okay, so activate the summoning horn. There he is. 11k. Nothing too scary. We've been killing bigger mobs than that. Especially that bloody walk rider that ganked me uh, last time around. That was most unexpected. Uh, epic battle that was. So just cut him around a bit. That's the good thing about Lightning Rune Keeper. You can cut things around, slow them down. And then they don't really hit you as much if they're a melee mob. Bang. There we go, right, so Master of the Roost is done. Uh, killing ten of the things is done. We need to still collect relics, so we need the Shriekers. So if I'm a bit tactical about my pools, I'll have there as well. Kill you. So these guys will make six. I need to find four more afterwards. Why are you running around the back of the tree? I do a surprise attack. On me. Sustaining bolt, get some health back. There we go. Trying to be wary of this guy that's patrolling around because he's kind of swinging a wide circle. Okay, that's six then. So, what do we want? Oh, he's going back the other way now. Your slave, your slave. I know I'm going to end up pulling both of you, but so I'll do it. Alright. Probably don't want to pull too much until I've healed up a bit. I'm below 1k at the minute. So just cut around a bit. Spam on with stuff. As soon as the sustaining bolt comes off cool down, just uh, whack that and get some health back. Ideally casting it when my attunement bars are full best healing effect. There we go. Reverse out here. We're going to pull the, the slave that's got the door there, but can't really be helped. We're going to have to find something to get back outside. Uh, try not to pull the bat. I'm running down the hill into god knows what though, so I might regret that in a second. There's a couple of things moving around as well. There we go. Nice crit there. 
Uh, what have we got? Oh, three Shriekers stood right next to each other. Yes, please. MP Blast. Palpatine Fingers. Oh, that, Jesus Christ, that was a good one. Three and a half K. And that one in the centre. 2.5k with a basic lightning attack there as well. Okay, then he was finding the uh, crit quite easily there. Epic conclusion to finish it off. No, he didn't do enough. It was a mild conclusion. Uh, that's nine. I need one more. And I know, knowing my luck, there's probably not going to be one down here. I'm going to pull you. I'm hoping there's one around this corner here. Yeah, there is. Fantastic. Alright. Blown here. Oh, Jesus, I've got no health. Staining bolt. Uh, oh, crap. I can't EMP blast. This is going badly. This has gone horribly wrong. I'm dead. Where's the button I'm looking for? That one. That one. Yes, bubbles. Bubbles. It's a staining bolt. Oh, Jesus. MP blast, MP, MP! There we go, right. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, good crit. Nice in the face. Oh my god, I'm a jammy sod. Crit, crit! No, stun it, stun it! No! Oh, nearly. Uh, do I want to run? Yeah, I killed the one I needed. Sod it, retreat. Mission complete. This is the fast way back. It was, it was deliberate. Um, it's actually really is the fast way back because it actually puts us south of the Haunted Inn, so it's pretty close to where we need to be for the uh, the Wolfmaster. Um, I nearly pulled that one out of my ass. It was going pretty well. Okay, so up the top of the hill then. Um, oh, hello, gank spider. I think it spawned in though, so it was too busy spawning in to actually notice me there. Um, right, on the top of this hill. Not him. There we go, the wolf whistle. Which is just sat on a bench next to some grimy looking tent. There we go, Frumhon Wolfkeeper. Let's spank him a bit. 11k mob, nothing too fancy. There we go, shoot in the face quite a bit, get an epic conclusion with the double buffs. 4.3k, very nice. So that's the Howling on the Hill done. Uh, righteous Flattering was the, the relics that we did earlier. So the last thing we need before we go back and hand in is uh, Lost Spider 2.0. So we need to go back westwards until we're in the uh, little spider valley. And he's on the western side. So if possible, I want to try and sneak past as much of the, the little trash spiders as possible. Just to avoid having to fight loads of crap. Oh, I've quite. Oh no, I've just managed to sneak past the wolf. Okay, right, jump down here. So that's the spider we had last time. But this time, if I can casually get around here, we have the enormous cocoon. Which, if we go prod, dun dun dun. It's actually smaller than the other one. Yeah, equally nasty spider has appeared. Unfortunately, I've run out of all my attunement. I can't epic inclusion it in the face for a nice big bit of damage. Right, now we finish it. Or don't, because we only did 2k out of the 4 we needed. This one is inflicting me with some kind of poison. 84 common damage every 3 seconds. Oh no, it's going to kill me. Um, right, so that's all we need then. So we need to hand in this stuff back at the Haunted Inn. Now I'm going to end up putting all this crap with me. But they should all uh, end up resetting before we get too far up the hill. So I'm trying to think. I think we've got a few more quests. I think this is all we need for the um, the trash beasts of the region. I think that's the last quest there since we've killed the, the last boss mobs. Um, we're going to have some more follow-up stuff with uh, Aldergeim. And then we've got the skirmish to do as well, so I think we're pretty much nearing the end of the region now. Um, I'm going slightly off the piste here, the roads to the east. 
So once again, if we step inside, hand in all these bits and pieces. And if you do need to sell some crap as well, there are some vendors here uh, and some guys that sell the token How stuff. How can as I well. be of service? What can I do? Or for some you? of the lower tier token stuff. Some Would of the fancy stuff is not available until you get to the later parts of the region. Um, there we go. Ding, level 63. So, bear in mind, I started the um, Merkwood region at 60. So, we're already doing pretty good. We're free. We're in the second area, already level 63. Granted, there is some blue bar involved as well to help me along there. Um, so, search out a guy for town records. What can I do for you? And in that one. Stay a moment. Search for evidence of violence. Search for old weapons. Search for a sign of the necromancer's influence. So that's one that always caused a lot of confusion back in the day. Because um, people always struggled finding those three pieces. I'll show you guys where they are. And don't forget to hand into the guys around the back. What can I do for you? Will you lend me your ear? So we need to search for the first, second, and third scouts in Danningblor. So we're going to have to go back up there, unfortunately. Megavannon. What can I do for you? And we need to defeat the greedy Moral thief and collect the priceless elf treasure. So those should be the last two bits involving Danningblor. 